value trades, forex, CFDs, and commodities. Welcome traders to a short video on a couple of words that are being used quite a lot, um, but often not fully understood. So we look at pip, we look at point, and we look at tick. So pip, every currency trader probably is aware of it, but what does it actually stand for? PIP stands for percentage in point. What does that mean? Basically, it is the smallest price movement of a currency pair or an exchange rate based on market convention. Typically, we look at uh, four numbers behind the decimal point uh, in currencies, and that would be one, the movement by one would be one PIP. Or in other words, it's one one hundredth of one percent uh, equal to one basis point. Hopefully that makes it clear what PIP actually stands for. So you look four numbers behind a decimal point and if it moves up by one. It's that is kind of one PIP increase. If it moves down by one, it's one PIP decrease. And let's also in a moment have a look at an actual chart to put that in context. I think it's quite important because when you do your calculations and you look at the margin and you look at a leverage and you look at value you're prepared to risk per pip it's really important to understand you know how much does a market need to move to then create one pip movement 10 pip movement 100 pip movement you equate that to your risk and money management rules so that's something you really know from currency trading second point is point <laughs> the smallest possible price change on the left side of a decimal point um what you typically see it, it that originally comes from futures trading, um, but when you trade, um, for example, the DAX or the FTSE or S&P 500, you will be interested in the full point movements on the left side of a decimal point, and that's what we refer to a point in trading. And you can you can calculate the value of that um, to make sure that you are in line with your risk and money management rules. And the third um, term that kind of flies around in, in that context is tick. So that's the smallest possible price change on the right side of a decimal point in contrast to um, you know what we've seen um, uh, with, with point definition. So often kind of a, a tick can be in line with a pip depending on the numbers behind the decimal uh, a currency pair is being traded. Another way of looking at that when I uh, look at ticks Every single tick that comes out actually for me signifies a change in price. Um, so that's how, how I look at ticks, kind of the moving away from time uh, charts, more looking at price movements and range charts. Um, so a tick is every time a price of um, a euro US dollar, for example, changes, a tick will be sent out and uh, a price will be changed in that smallest increment. And a pip is important for me to calculate the value of that, um, of that price change. Let's just have a quick look at um, a Euro dollar and a, a DAX 30 chart to make that clear. And you, you will see that we have one, two, three, four, even five decimals behind the comma. So when you look at you know, the, 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 the pips, so the fourth one, that will signify that we actually go up one pip or down one pip. As a side comment, when you look at the spread, that is the difference between selling and buying a currency, basically the transaction cost, you can see that the spread is very, very tight, right? Um, it is the difference between the last decimals between um, the selling and, and the buying and the offer and the bid, right? So it's very, very tight. Don't confuse it. Um, Value Trades also offers you the fifth digit behind the comma, that's even a, a smaller increment. When you look at spread, you want to look at the fourth, um, the fourth decimal, and the fifth, obviously together. We will show you that the, the spread is incredibly, incredibly tight. So that is, you know, when we look at a at a pip, we look at this number. Now it's a one three one nine. In a moment, maybe it's gonna one three two zero again. So that would be a pip up and a pip down. And when you do your risk um, and money management and you calculate the value of a pip. That's where, to, that's where you're looking at. In contrast to that, if we go to um, a DAX 30, this is a five minute chart on the German index. If I open an order here, you will see you have less decimals after the, 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 uh, the point here. 
Um, on the left hand side, you see the points uh, 12,223. And if that goes up to 24, down to 22, that is one point change. Look, and the, the tick uh, is a fairly flexible definition. It says everything right to the decimal. If that changes by one increment, whatever the smallest increment is for that um, financial instrument, that is a tick change. So you can right now see the point has changed a few times, but you see that the ticks will change many more times. Traders use the ticks really to understand how often the price changes. In um, trading indices, where we look at the points to calculate the value of a point uh, to align that with a trading strategy. And in currencies, we're not looking at points, we're looking at pips. So I hope that definition clears it up and makes it very easy for you to understand the different concepts. And with that, I wish you all the best for your trading. If you have any questions, reach out to uh, the Value Trades representatives or have a look at the other videos. Um, we cover a wide range of topics. Thank you very much, and I look forward to welcoming you again. Thank you. Bye. Value Trades, Forex, CFDs, and Commodities.